Hey, Rob Wood here. I'm going to give you my personal prediction of the winner of the American Idol 2012, which I believe will be Joshua Ledet. Now, I want to get into the faith of Joshua Ledet, and I want to explain to you why God himself is lifting up many believers throughout the earth in this hour that honor him. Simply, if we honor the Lord, the Lord will exalt us and the Lord will honor us. And you know, Trevor Bain won the Daytona 500. You've got Jeremy Lin, who's a Christian, loves God. You've got Tim Tebow, you know, that amazing 316 yards, 31.6 uh, average per pass. And they wouldn't allow him to put John 316 on the his eyelids. And, you know, John 316 is very simple, my friends. For God so loved the world, that's you, that's me, that he gave his only son, that if you'd believe in Jesus, you'd not perish, you'd have everlasting life. Let me get back to Joshua Ledet, my friends. Obviously, he's a Christian. His dad's a minister. His dad's a preacher. Was raised in church. Most of his gospel uh, roots have been singing in the church. That's where his passion comes from. Now, I clearly think he's better than anybody else in the show. I do believe he's going to win. I do believe if he doesn't win, he should he should win. And even if he doesn't, I believe he'll have a powerful uh, career if he keeps his heart right. Now, here's the key. The show American Idol simply about is finding an idol that's a great singer. Let's face it, we all look up the people that are great in whatever category they are in life. Athletes, actors, actresses, musicians, singers, entrepreneurs, uh, etc. point I'm trying to make is for people that want to only make God their major idol and have no other gods before them, because let's not forget the first commandment. God says, have no other gods before me with a little g. Let's get this straight. I'm the creator. You're the creation have me first in your life and the gifts I have enabled you with, the, the talents uh, that I've trusted you with, use them to utilize, to build a platform to spread the word of God, to spread the gospel story. So I believe God's going to honor this young man. I believe my prediction is, as I'm cutting this show, uh, February, early February of 2012, we'll see if I'm right or wrong. If I'm wrong, I'll take it off if he doesn't win. I'm just kidding you. The point I'm trying to make is I believe God is uplifting Christians that honor him, that love him in this hour. Hey, it's not difficult to become a Christian. You've got to realize that Jesus paid the price for your sin debt. You see, friends, we're all born with the debt. It's the greatest bailout package ever known to mankind. We were born separated from God for original sin. Jesus bridged a gap and made a way to get back to the Father God. If you want to get to the Father, you got to go through the Son. The Bible says Jesus is the mediator between God and man. If you've never confessed Jesus as your Lord and Savior, the Bible says today is the day of salvation. Don't put it off. Don't hit the spiritual snooze button. Bow your heart at me right now. Say, Jesus, come into my life. Thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. Wash me and cleanse me from what you did on that cross. Hey, friends, it's a relationship. Christianity is not a religion. You can't earn this. It's a free gift. I want to invite you to you know, take partake of many other ministry videos I've done on YouTube. This search simply Rob Wood 1, R-O-B-B Wood, the number one where I've been serving the Lord as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ for well over two decades. I love young people. We work with many young people here in New York. Hey, God bless you in Jesus' name. Uh, Rob Woods signing out here at Rob Woods Ministries.